Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at a digital desktop PC. Digital is not really known for producing PCs but they did make a few and this is the Venturus 5100 which is a Pentium 100 based PC. There was also a 486 produced in the same form factor but uh, I had a few of those and I gave them away and kept the Pentium. Around the back, got the fan, your power supply and the link to the power for the monitor. Keyboard and mouse of course, PS2. Two serial ports, of course being a digital machine you've got to have lots of serial ports. Uh, parallel port and VGA video. These are all onboard ports as well, they're not separate cards. And there's a DE450 network card just in here. This is a fairly old machine, so no USB. And the important information there for the people that are interested. Another one made in Australia too. This one's designed for ease of access, so you don't need tools to get it apart. All you do is you twist these things on both sides and the case will come off. view of the insides and to get a bit more deeply into it you move this lever across and your power supply, your hard drive and your media bays are all exposed. This one had a Dallas clock chip in here which I've hacked to put a new battery on it. CPU is under here of course, some 72 pin memory this is the onboard graphics, S3 video, and some video memory plus an upgrade option here. One of the nice features of this machine is that uh, it's got a riser card here which has got both PCI and ISA slots, so you can put a wide variety of cards into it. And now to do something useful, I'll put an operating system on it. Um, I was going to install Windows NT4. This one won't boot off the CD though, so I'm going to have to install it using the floppy, the three floppies. Okay, so now we've got NT4 installed. Now you may be wondering why I've installed Windows NT onto this PC. It's because I'm going to install Excursion, which is an ex-Windows server, so that I can connect to Deck Windows on the VAC station. This kit is floppy based so it's going to take a while. Okay so let's get going.
and that's the excursion installed. On the VMS system, we need to make sure that we've got deck windows motif installed. There's the kit, and if I have a look at see that I've got it installed and you need to have the motif license loaded or in my case a NAS license which covers motif. The other thing that's important is that you need to have the R exec service in configured in TCP IP. Under client components, and option number four there. So RSH, you don't need. R exec, you need to turn on, and I've already got it turned on, so I don't need to do anything here. Okay, now we can go back to the PC. Okay, we just run up the excursion server. And it'll sit down and wait at the bottom. Now what you do is right click on here, go to applications, run X applications, and We'll put in the name of an application. So, one good one to start with is Puzzle. On the host, on the VMS host, account name and password. And there is our Motif application running on the VMS system. So we can do our, do our puzzles. And so on. So we'll go down here and run up another one. Good one's always terminal. And here we have deck term. And a VMS system. I think it's a VT three hundred. Yeah, three hundred series. Clock. Yeah, they're doing this clock. I find a good thing to do with this is to, instead of running these applications one by one, is just run session. And that will run up the session manager, and then you can pick applications from there. It's also starting up the window manager to give the nice um, motif look as well. So here you can put this up here and start up your applications. So if you want paint, you can pick paint from there.
You know? So you can do thing, useful things with a PC. You can run an X-Terminal on them. You can also run stuff the other direction. Um, once you create a display, you can run it from the VMS system and point it to the server, in which case there's a display here that's pointing to the PC. So I can run up things here. Um, If you want to see what's available, you can always have a look in the system dequastar.exe. Get an idea of the, what's available. If you want the full experience, you can go into single window mode. So you go into control panel, display single window. And restart the X server, and then you'll have your window here on the VMS system. I'm going to push it from the other direction. I'm going to do a set display slash create slash node equals and the IP address slash transport equals TCP IP, and then I'm going to run Deco dollar start login. So now we'll look just like a a genuine workstation. Um, the resolution is not good on this monitor as I said so it's a bit squashed up. Okay, so everything will just appear within this one window, not within the Microsoft Windows screen. So you can do all your tech windows goodness. Read your books. Good stuff in deck windows. And when you end your session, it should go back to login. So that's it. I hope you found that useful, and we will catch up with you next time.